Hopefully we can do this in a take, but I don't know. I reckon we, I'm just gonna go straight in. Let's, let's do it in a take, let's get it out today, <coughs> stop the questions, and we move forward. You're gonna start crying. <laughs> I don't feel I've ever cried. No, I'm over it now, because we've known it's been coming for a while. It's like, right, ready, Josh? Give us, give us uh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. It's the end of an era here on 90 Min, the last panel show we've had, laughs, we've had rants, we've had smiles, we've had tears maybe today, uh, might, might be the first time for tears. It is the last show uh, here on 90 Min with Scott Saunders, Grizz Khan, Harry Simeon and myself, Jacob Colshaw. We're going to explain what's been happening and apologies first off because it has been a bit of an awkward period. We've all received messages from different people about what's going on. Hopefully that gets cleared up today and also it's a goodbye but a goodbye for now, which is the most important thing. Scott. As someone who is an OG of 90 Men, you know, we th we're looking back to 2016? 2016, I was 2016. looking back the other day because we were, we never script our videos really, do we? Do we? Yeah, a little. Well, this was not we have, we have like a running order. Yeah. And I mean, we never used to script them. We don't script Jakey it. Jakey has a whole uh, file here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and you basically Harry said, just get along. We, we'd have talking points that we wanted to touch on and just let it, let it flow, right? Uh, so this video is a little bit more difficult because obviously, as Jakey just mentioned there, um, we've had a lot of questions. I've been away and we, we've done a show and then yeah. we haven't done a show and then people are asking where it is. So we felt like we owed everybody who's watching or who has ever watched this since like 2016 an explanation as to where we've been, what's going on and this kind of thing. But yeah, 2016, the 2016-17 season was, I think, when we started doing videos and it was around that time where fan voice was introduced as well. So if, if you've been watching or if you've been subscribed to this channel for a long time, back in the day, and you, you remember this pretty well. Still can't sure. grow a beard, but <laughs> <laughs> seven years on. But I'll tell you what, some dodgy haircuts, but some good vlogs in between. I know, Harry, you didn't do fan voice or Grizz, but I remember it was basically one fan for every club in the Premier League. You'd, you'd, have, you'd basically do a vlog from the perspective of a fan going, it was a really cool time. We had loads of different people and you met loads, loads of different people. But we had the gas tank as well, yeah. Scott, which is a massive part, I know, for people who have watched a long time. The sofas, I don't know where they are the now. The iconic sofas. I think they, we moved offices, didn't we? And then yeah. I think they got thrown away or maybe put in a museum somewhere. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's the sort of overriding feeling, Scott, when you look back on sort of your time with the channel, the content you've done, the amount of videos particularly you've been on as well, yeah. as we all have as well? Evolution, uh, you know, I think... I think one thing I wanted to say with this is obviously we've been here. I, I've been on this channel for like eight, nine years, obviously. And we have different like Harry for four or five, is it? Or do you, do you know what? I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is how prepared know. we are for this. Uh, but <laughs> I'm too emotional. It, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like for me, like I started out doing this in my mid twenties, you were in your teens and you know, as, as you progress in your career, as you mature, like, your interests change, your focuses change, and like, especially your views on football change and how you want to progress in how you present yourself and this kind of thing. So we had a good few years ago when we were doing like big old numbers on on the gas tank with the, the old crew. So if, if people are like, people remember those days, they were probably the heights. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously there's loads more on this channel that happens alongside this, uh, but I think this has been a staple of, the, of this channel for a long time. Uh, it's, started out as a fan media channel really didn't it and as we evolved we developed like our professional careers as i've just said and other responsibilities and what we noticed at the time there was a big massive like influx of fan channels and there's a lot of fan channels like grizz now you're on uh one of the biggest and like rowdiest fan channels and best fan channels out there at the moment yeah definitely rowdy. uh so fan we, royalty to on, uh, on the show. you know like there are there are channels like that that have taken it to levels that you know we, we haven't reached but i think what we tried to do and what my view on this was was to try and find a balance between you know fan channels and like everything you think of on a fan channel and all the the laughs and the noise and the and the jokes and that kind of thing and the purity of that to like hopefully we managed to do this to try and move away from that to something more like we do this in an office mm -hmm. like this is a studio in an office for the company that we work for and you know we we try to strike a balance between having having a chat as fans and being professional at the same time and like you know that was our niche that i think we found and we've been in that for a few years especially since post covid 
so that's what we tried to do and we hope we achieved uh, what we set out to achieve and you recognise what we were trying to achieve as we went. Yeah, absolutely. Harry, just looking back on, on your time in the channel as well, and we must stress, this isn't the end of 90 Min as a whole. There will be stuff on and content going on on this channel. It's just the end of this show in particular, which I know people were used to on a Monday at 11am, 11, 11 a Thursday 11am. We haven't been consistent recently with stuff going on in the background, but Harry, you look back on your time with the channel, you think of when it was good, it was good. It was something that I know you look forward to coming in on a yeah, Monday as well. It's been amazing. I, I look forward to getting up on Monday mornings and I'm someone that made a career change quite late on. And so to go from like having to wake up on a Monday and be like, oh, I've got to go into the office and I've got to get on with a load of stuff that I've got no interest in. To be able to get up on a Monday and come in and do this and sit with you guys and lots of other people over the years that have been with us. Say Eric Ten Hag's a fraud, that and kind say of thing. Eric Ten Hag's Scott won't be missing that. that. It's funny, funny that he disappeared after he got sacked, didn't it? Do you um, know what, that should have been the one we should have gone out on, wasn't it? When we were on the stream and I remember thinking, Scott I should be on. That was actually on, my last show. appearance. I think it was just, just after he got sacked, I think it was my last appearance. I think it was, and now. people in the live chat, I'm sure, will remind us that people saying, where is Scott? He needs to be on this show yeah. to talk about. Yeah, Sorry, no, it's, it's been an amazing ride, man. Uh, amazing people um we've all become amazing friends as well which is the most important thing like whatever you achieve in your career is one thing but to make friends along the way i think is amazing um as scott said you sound like a spurs fan <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna let it go i'll let you have that because it's the last show um but no it's, it's been incredible um my my situation has changed as has everyone's like we've all we've all grown up we're all doing different things now as well and um, I'll always look back on this show as like the beginning because I had a little podcast before and whatever, but this was somebody giving me an opportunity to do this like sort of full time and give me the opportunity to be able to move away from what I was doing and into the career that I wanted. And it's been an amazing platform to go on and do other things. We've get, got to interview amazing people. I was at the Champions League final, standing on the stage with Alessandro Nesta. Yeah. One of my heroes growing up, Patrick Vieira. So to get to do that kind of thing has just been amazing. And I think you don't really realize it when you're in the day-to-day -day of it. You need to stop and look back to recognize how many amazing things. But the biggest takeaway for me is the friends I've made. Unbelievable. Grizz. It's, uh, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm emotional with, with you, Grizz, because thankfully I get to see Scott and Harry every, every day at work. Yeah when Harry comes in obviously but, <laughs> <laughs> but with, when he decides <laughs> to turn up but with Chris it's obviously going to be a little bit different because you've become part of the furniture here at 90 Min well every, you know every single week you'd be on we'd be talking about football we'd be disagreeing we'd be debating the, some of the biggest talking just, points just before Grizz jumps in like what we tried to do was like have a rotating cast of like big six clubs and you know we, we only ever had four seats really unless we managed to fit five on and we never nailed down Chelsea <laughs> we never nailed down Chelsea sorry <laughs> but Grizz honestly uh, has come in uh, since 2019-ish was exactly it? exactly that 2019 and he's been part of the furniture like an amazing voice on Liverpool uh struck the balance perfectly between you know the, the chat we were trying to to bring and like the knowledge we were trying to bring as well and i just want to say a big thanks to to grizz as well and we hope uh you know this is this has it's, been fun for you it's, it's it's mad you're saying thanks to me and i'm saying thanks to you and i'm saying thanks to all of you lot because you're right harry's right until you stop and then look back you can't recall and remember and you say part of the furniture the funny thing is right my first ever show was the 2019 Champions League preview, uh, Liverpool the and uh, Spurs, the final. And it was the old sofa, battered, dattered, right? Oh, and, and, it smelled a bit dodgy. And no, I was a bit sunk in. And, and yeah. <laughs> so I was a bit heavier back then, right? Um, you know, and I sat in that sofa and I thought, how am I going to get up? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I honestly feel, I feel, hope the camera pans away when I have to get up because it's one of you have to get up like that, right? And I remember I was so nervous for that show, yeah? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was nervous, but I didn't show it. And one of the body reactions when you're trying to act extra cool is to do something that you don't really do normally, right? And I, I'd like to think I'm not a, a rude and arrogant person like that, come across like that, right? But I had... I had my Timberlands on, right? And I decided to put my feet up on the 
table like that, <laughs> like that, during the show. So if anybody wants to look back at that, the 2019 <laughs> Champions League preview, you'll see Chris Khan sitting there with his feet up like that. It was pure nervousness <laughs> that made me do that. I was crapping myself. Um, but throughout the years, what, 2019, it took five years. Like, it's insane, like, how fast they've gone. And some of the crack and jokes oh. and winding each other up, we'd be, like, at each other's throats some shows back in the gas tank with, mm. you know, the guys that were on there, you know, shout out all of them, way too many to, to, to mention by name, but special shout out to Hainsey, uh, you know, who spoke to so many times in private about things and issues and whatever, brilliant times, brilliant people and some of the guests we've had you know <coughs> pleasure of meeting the likes of joel cole heskey julian laurent's been on our show and it's like dumbish there you know like it's like as, as harry says platform mm. because of 90 minutes i used to be invited on so many other platforms to speak football like what yeah. <laughs> it's mad isn't it yeah, yeah. What? what what do you mean you want to hear me waffle about football <laughs> that's mad so grateful that's the one one thing I would say. Grateful, so so grateful for for this company, for you guys, and we've had a. Cra You're right. Mondays and Thursdays were like, as Harry says, wake. I used to have to travel extra. Remember, I used to always have to mow and left at eight a.m. Left at seven thirty a.m. <laughs> right, but it was worth it. It wasn't like a no. It wasn't no job. It was worth it. It was like. We come in and we're talking about Liverpool, especially I used to do the old gifts when we Liverpool won, you know, <laughs> bouncing into or when the we'd lost, yeah, or when we when we'd lost, you'd be angry. You know, I thought oh, I'm gonna have to face Harry today. C can can, we, can we clear up one thing though? I was only late once. <laughs> oh, one late. time. <laughs> you can't one be late time. to watch this show either. <laughs> one time when the train let yeah. me down. Yeah. The accusations. Are you to stick it They've got to yeah. be guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think the majority of the people knew that we're just using your name. They knew <laughs> Harry's the ultimate professional. He's not late. Yeah. You know, exactly. everyone knew, everyone knew. Everyone that. knew. But brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. You know, when I was looking back at like when we started and things like that, I was seeing some of the first videos that I made in like a, a an old office spare room with like this smallest sofa you could ever like possibly imagine. And I look back at the thumbnails from those days and there was one thumbnail of a, the, the guys who were in the video at the time pointing and laughing at me with the United shirt up. And I think, bloody hell, man. Nothing's changed. Like, nothing's changed. <laughs> 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 at all nothing's changed, nothing's changed at oh, all uh, and obviously this is coming to an end now just as i think united might be on the up fingers crossed i don't i don't know we'll see but you like uh, as, two years ago you know <laughs> as grizz mentioned just now there's been so many people on this yes, channel yeah. down in in the past that we have to thank and i didn't get a proper goodbye either. and didn't get a proper goodbye that have really contributed to the success and the growth of this channel and obviously there's a there's a a bunch of people as well jake i don't know whether you want to do this that we should be thanking and that's uh people watching yeah absolutely absolutely i mean stick around because I've, we're going to give a bit of insight on what's going to be coming up next um but a massive thank you to all of you because in terms of it's been a bit of a i wouldn't say rocky road but there's been some real spikes in terms of numbers it then dropped a little bit we'll be transparent about that and then it got back up to a really nice spot over the summer but there's the same faces the same uh, moderators the same people commenting who have really enjoyed hopefully the content that we've been putting out and actually it all relies on the engagement from you guys because number one it allows us to do the show but number two it's not the same show without that interaction with the audience so there's not really words to describe it but just a massive thank you from all of us because yeah as, as i said the channel wouldn't be anything without the audience without subscribers without the regular viewers and without the comments even if you are slagging us off sometimes <laughs> um but it isn't it isn't uh, a goodbye completely it's a, it's a goodbye for now harry how can people continue listening to hear us talk about football and continue the, the journey with us in terms of what, what, what we're doing coming I'll up say next? Just give us all a follow on social media. Um, we'll put the links in the description and, um, and we'll keep you posted with, with the next steps. We've, we've all got a lot of stuff going on, which we're obviously very, very thankful for. Like to get to do this as a job is a dream. Um, and I think it's really important that along the way you never forget that you can have bad days in any line of work that you do. Um, you can read comments that you think <laughs> oh, <laughs> making me question what I've said today. Or with like a couple, <laughs> whatever. Can we have a couple <laughs> on this video just for old times' sake? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, like, get the finally they got rid of Harry stuff in the comments section, please. Um, like, Late again. <laughs> lots of people have been asking for it for a while, so get it in the comments. But no, it's um, we can't say a great deal at this moment in time. Um, but I'm sure we're all still going to work together plenty. We're all still going to be 
very active in the space so give us all a follow on socials and um and stay tuned but and, you can uh, clear your 11 a.m slot on a monday out your diary for now so yeah particularly john daly i know he's you know he's a man <laughs> he'll, he'll be watching this he'll be thinking you know what freed up an hour i'm gonna send john daly a personal message i think Um, Scott anything else we've missed anything you want to mention to tell the audience I I suppose like look this is the end of us on this channel this the end of this panel show on this channel but this channel is not going anywhere so there will be uh, plenty more content coming out on this channel plenty more great content coming out on Nighty Min even as early as like this week Uh, I'm not sure I don't know how things are when this is going out and how quickly things are going to turn around but uh, yeah, this is obviously, as Harry mentioned there, this is the end of, of us on this channel, but we will continue working elsewhere. So you can follow us. Uh, links in the description to our social pages and we will have more news as we can tell it to you. Um, yeah. But yeah, I just wanted to say there, there will be more. This is not the end of this channel. There is a lot more to come on 90 Min. Chris, I'm going to give you the opportunity to some final words. Anything you wanted to let Scott or Harry know on camera? You can tell us how you really feel about us now. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, uh, you know what, you lot are laughing and, and all, you know what I mean, saying it is quite emotional because you do get to know people, you know, even though, as I said, we only, I used to only come in two, three, two times a week, sometimes three times a week. But even in those periods starting, I'm just trying to go through the different studios and the different scenarios and it just, you know, Brick Lane and then, um, wow. yeah, the, the other cool. place, oh, what is that? the other place, Liverpool Street. And now here, giving all the do you know, don't give away. this one away. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> giving all the locations away here. Yeah? Do you know how many times on a rainy day I nearly slipped down those steps going into the brick lane? Oh, I know. Oh I my know. lord! I mean, the I amount mean, of times I grabbed onto that banister for my the life. But yeah. the but the brick lane studio for me was amazing. I used to tell you guys like I literally walk out, walk across to the station, get into the station, come out of the station, walk across the station, and the studio used to be there. It was the sorry the Liverpool Street yeah, one. Yeah the perfect location like literally 50 minutes never late never late in that period go and check in the that records period. in that period <laughs> in that period never late right but just overall do you know man. what do relationships you know, fun do jokes you know, do you know what it used to it used to wind me up when other people were late and I'll tell you why because when I first started doing this show I still worked in banking and, <laughs> and you're so and used would, to the day I would get a call saying can you come on the show and I'd be like uh, let me put a couple of fake meetings in my diary. Oh my, really? Yes, I used to do it all the time. <laughs> and I used to make my way down and then I'd be like, right, I've got an hour now where I know nobody's yeah. going to bother yeah. me. And then if I get asked to do something, yeah, I've got an hour to get home as well. So when people were late and I hadn't accounted for that, it used to wind me up so much. because It's not today, like you get up in stream yeah, and leave. It's like, it's like today, <laughs> Time is money. It's like today's the day I get exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Chris made a fantastic point there. Just just to bring it all together, I think what made this show, from my perspective, really, really special is the dynamic. Because I felt that whether it was Grizz or whether it was someone else, with Scott or Harry, and we had loads of different guests on, the dynamic, as Scott said, was in between sort of, I like seeing some reasonable football takes with that fan banter. But it Shall was, never, it was never done in a personal way. It was always yeah. a nice level between the two. Shall I tell you what I liked? I've, 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 I've been on a few shows, not as many as bloody Harry. Harry... Harry's everywhere. Everywhere, man. Bloody hell. You won't miss it when put, he leaves there. Put, put, put YouTube on or any podcast on Harry's there. But now, what I really, really found was whenever we had a guest for the first time making their debut, whatever, I loved the way we made them feel so comfortable. Mm. Like there was no arrogance or who are you or why are you on this show or any sort. Like, and, and I think, I could be wrong, guest, let us know. I, th- I think every guest kind of appreciated that and felt that. They always went back saying, oh, I really enjoyed that. Nice one, lads. And I think we kind of, like, us three were the, I guess, the core. Like, there's always rotation. But I think we always used to make sure the other person feels part, even though we knew they were only a one-off guest. Yeah. And I think that's a massive, massive takeaway for me. Yeah, absolutely. Because the way we... and. Obviously, since you've come on the scene, like in terms of the hosting, brilliant. I mean, I remember you just being sort of just a, a pretty face. Now you're, pr- <laughs> now you're. I remember him with the skin and I posted it in the group now the other day. Now you're a pretty face <laughs> who's <laughs> like the host of the show, and it's like, and even though I'm like twice your age, probably whatever, it's like the banter me and you have had as well in a short space of time, and the relationship's like, shut up, Jake. It's like you know, <laughs> it's like Jake, you know, but it's brilliant. It's brilliant, and some of the rows me and Scott had in the early days, and even Harry and Harry and Scott and Boovy, and I just I, for just before we came in, I just for example, 
Hunter Godson. Like, Hunter Godson. Yeah. Like, I saw him, he saw me, and we said, we said the same thing. Wow, how long has it been? And yeah. we said it at the same time. We gave each other a proper Jurgen Klopp hug. Sorry to reference Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool again. I have done the last <laughs> show. Um, but it was genuine. It's like, wow, brilliant times with Hunter. As I said, Hainsey, all of them. Brilliant, brilliant times. And it is a bit emotional, I'm not going to lie. Should we, should we leave it there before we get the tissues out? I mean, yeah, uh, what I will say is, as Chris said, a massive thank you to, to people like Hainsey. Well, personally, because I don't think I'd be here without him. Yeah, same. Hunter, same. Boovy, Purdy, who I know was oh. a massive oh part. Oh my Purdy, God, how did anyone this not this mention baby, Purdy? This show. We had so many great We've had so many Rory. producers. We've yeah. got obviously Josh now. We have Ben who's left. I mean, there's so many, so many to name. Uh, and also a massive thank you to the guys behind the scenes for, for making it happen because you'd be amazed how much effort goes into producing a live show with three different cameras a in a studio. studio. We're in as yeah. well. Like, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, you know? yeah. and to 90 Min, the brand, yeah. because they've given us this platform for a long, long time. Like, and they've made it happen, essentially. They've facilitated not just the growth of the show, but the, our growth as well, I think. Like, all the things that we get to do, we get 100%. to do them because we, we've been here. And if you take that away, I don't think we'd all be in oh, the same absolutely. place that we're in today. So to the brand as well. So right? a massive thank you. It. And a massive thank you to all of you. It's not, it is a goodbye, but just a goodbye for now. I think we've covered everything, lads, right? I think so. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I won't say leave a like on the video or subscribe, but actually do subscribe. Actually do, because we, we do actually need, like, if, if there's people that were watching this video, eight, these yes. videos eight years ago, that come across this. Yeah. I think maybe we owe them an explanation. I've just got into habit of saying like, subscribe, comment, tell me post notification, but make sure you do subscribe to the channel here on Nighty Men, but also follow Scott, Grizz, Harry and myself on our social channel so you keep kind of track of what's going on with the situation at this moment in time. But hopefully that clears up a few of your questions. There is more to come. Hopefully you can join us on the rides for the next steps and we will see you then. Take care, guys. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did it. Grizz. <laughs> Nice one.